Now question number 88, chromatophores take part in. Now chromatophores, they are sac-like structures and in the membrane of chromatophores, there is presence of photosynthetic pigments. Now chromatophores, they are very well seen in cyanobacteria, that is BGA. So they possess photosynthetic pigments. So what would be their function? They take part in photosynthesis. So the right uh, answer is option number 2. So now let's move on to the question number 89. We have to look for the wrong statement here. Now if we look into the first option, that's right, mosaic disease and AIDS, both they are caused by viruses. So you know this very well, the mosaic disease in tobacco, it is caused by TMV virus and the AIDS, it is caused by HIV virus. Now the viroids were discovered by Ivanovsky. Now this is wrong option. The viroids, they were discovered by Diener, T.O. Diener. Now Stanley first crystallized viruses. Yes, he first crystallized tobacco mosaic virus. Bejerich gave this term contagium vivum fluidum for the viruses which means living infectious fluid. Fine. So, which is the wrong option here? Option number 2. So, that is the answer for this question. So, now let's move to the question number 90. So, now let's discuss in question number 90, a pleiotropic gene. Now, the term pleo means more than one, several. So, pleiotropic gene means it's a gene which controls several or multiple traits. Fine. So, if we look into the first option, controls multiple traits. This is the right option here, option number one. Now, for this we can take one example that is in the Pisum sativum. In the type Pisum sativum, there is a single gene, yes, single gene termed as B gene. This gene 1, it controls seed shape, whether it is round or wrinkled and the another one. It controls starch grain size. Yes, starch grain size, whether it is large, small, or intermediate. A single gene showing multiple effects. What do you call such type of gene as a pleiotropic gene? 